Now, here we go. We're live. Good Monday morning to everyone. Hello. How are you guys after this awesome Mother's Day? Katrina and I were just talking about what we did on Mother's Day, what our days were filled with. I hope all of you that are either fur baby mothers or mothers of babies or stepmom, whatever it is, we hope you celebrated yesterday and was the queen of your household and the queen of your day, because come on, let's just say we could do one day of celebrating ourselves. We really let birthdays fly by and all those other things, but we should be celebrating ourselves at least for one day. I think one of my son-in-laws uh, said to me, he goes, uh, yeah, well, I celebrate her every day. So I don't think we just need to pull out one mother's damn like, was that an escape? So you don't have to do anything today or <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about here? So Again, just enjoy your family. You know, that's what we're all doing this for anyway, um, is to provide more opportunities for ourselves and our families. So uh, we work hard, but we also play hard and we love to be with our family. So today I'm excited to bring our VIP member Katrina Sawa forward. And what I love about what Katrina does, well, she does like, she reminds me of me. People are always like, your hands are in everything. You're doing so much. That's the way Katrina is. Like, I couldn't even explain everything that she does and what her hands are in. But she understands the importance of masterminds just like I do. In fact, recently, she started her uh, mastermind with David Fagan. I've recently started a mastermind with Carrie Connolly. So we wanted to talk to you today a lot about masterminds, but Katrina, let's get the spotlight on you to start. So talk to our listeners a little bit about who you are, uh, what you do, and why you started a mastermind, what it means to you and why it's so important. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to be a new, newer member since January of Lead Up. Uh, and so I've been in business for almost 19 years this summer. It'll be 19 years. And I can't even imagine doing anything different, right? Some of us are just in our zone. We're in the thing that we are truly meant to be doing. And that's what we're doing. And that's awesome. And I, that's me. I can, doesn't feel like I'm working when I'm working. Uh, you know, sometimes my husband has to drag me out of my office because I'm just so excited of doing new things and creating new things. When I'm not on a call, I am creating, right? And writing books and things like that. So I love to help entrepreneurs make a lot more money. Um, we look at a lot of different things in regards to doing that, but it's actually creating the business around the kind of life you want to live, not fitting your life in around your business. Mm -hmm. And that means we need to make a lot of money because what if something happens? Corona happened last year. For a lot of people, that was devastating, right? For others of us, it was actually fine. And we were able to sustain, if not grow our business, but many people weren't. And so how do you get your business in a place where everything's a smooth running money making machine no matter what no matter if corona hits no matter if someone gets laid off in your household no matter if someone gets hurt or you know un unfortunately would die or something i know somebody that just a client of a potential client of mine just had a brother-in-law who had a stroke the other day right i mean things just happen so you have to prepare for the what if so I'm the gal that comes in and looks at all these things that you're doing and how it all flows together and make sure you have those systems in place. Make sure you have enough marketing and lead generation coming in on a regular basis and you're nurturing those leads and through a process and you're really building relationships so people know what you do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, I do business coaching. I'm a speaker. I also have a web design and virtual assistant company and I have a publishing side of my company as well. So we do a lot. But it's only because I'm an entrepreneur and I'm always creating new things, right? Just like a lot of you. So that's what I do. Um, back in 2006 is when I first heard about masterminding. And I had gone to this event in Los Angeles. I live up in Northern California in Sacramento. And uh, my friend said, you have to go to this ladies event. It's going to be off the hook. And I said, but I can't afford it because it's down in LA. I have to buy a plane ticket and a hotel. And I have to buy the $3,000 ticket to the event, which it was at the time, right? I'm like, how the hell am I going to do that? And so I moved a lot of money around and, you know, paid one credit card with the other and charged one thing on this. And I got there and that's where I learned how to do this coaching, this online world of coaching. I was doing marketing consulting in my local area. Had no idea that I could get clients everywhere. I just didn't know what I didn't know. 
And she, this woman who was Allie Brown, who was a long time ago, she was, you know, she's still uh, doing really well in her business, but you don't hear as much from her anymore. But she was like the gal that was teaching everybody at that time. And I was just like, oh my God, I have to join her mastermind because she ha she's going to tell me what to do. And of course I couldn't afford her mastermind, but I did it anyways, because I knew that I would hurry up and change my business into something that would make a lot more money. I trusted, I trusted her. I trusted myself. And that's what you have to do when you hop into something that's bigger than you, that's pretty expensive, right? Or what you think is expensive at the time. But the twelve or fifteen thousand dollars that I spent that year it was nothing compared to what I learned, and it was just like the best investment ever. Although I thought it was so expensive at the time, and then I was with her for two years, and then I went to another mastermind with somebody else who was twice that price, and then I went to somebody else who was a hundred thousand uh, dollars, and went into their mastermind and was in their mastermind for like three years. And not at hundred grand the whole time, but it was, it was just that leveling up of my confidence and everything. And so back in 2009 is when I launched my own mastermind. Um, I called it the live big mastermind. That's my logo behind me, live big. <laughs> I love that. And uh, I, because it's about living a bigger life and it's creating the business around the kind of life we want to live. Right. And so that was, that spoke to me. And that's why I started my mastermind. I've been running it ever since with anywhere from eight people to 25 people have been in it at any given time. And it's just the best thing on the planet for incubating ideas, mm -hmm. for launching things, for brainstorming and getting support, whether it's to come up with a business idea or to um, encourage you to push through your fears or whatever it is that you need. As an entrepreneur, we wear so many different hats. We have to learn so many different things. It's stressful. It's scary. It's, you know, you have to get vulnerable at times. It's just insane. So that's kind of how I got into masterminding. And I've been in one almost every year since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's put some clarity around masterminds so people understand what they are and what they're not, right? So masterminds are about the people that are being present in the mastermind. They're looking to engage and add value to other people, help them brainstorm, solve their issues, as well as receiving and taking action, right? So that's what a mastermind is. A mastermind is not a networking group. It is not a networking group. I just want to make that very clear. You don't, it's not about, you know, selling to each other or trying to, you know, just make connections. That's part of making the connections as part of it. But a mastermind is about bringing something you're looking to achieve in your business or your personal life to the table, asking for clarifying questions, and then being open to feedback for people to give you that feedback for you to then take that and apply it and follow up with that person or get some additional clarity or whatever it is you need. It's about moving forward. Wouldn't you say, Katrina? Oh, totally. Yeah. And sometimes they tell you the advice that you don't want to hear, which is what we actually really need to hear. And I've, had, I've been in the hot seat before where I've gotten that information. I'm like, okay, thanks for that. But I want info on this. And they're like, no, you don't need to worry about that. You need to do this. And the whole group is in agreement. And you're like, what am I not seeing? And that's when you realize you've been resisting something or you're avoiding something or you're hiding your head under the sand. And so those things will come up and it gets uncomfortable, but it's what we need to grow and move through past things that are keeping us stuck. And so you need to kind of, when you get into a mastermind, you have to get raw. You have to be yeah. open to whatever you're going to receive because it's usually not what you came for, but it's usually exactly what you need at the time you need it. Yeah. I love, I love to hear that. Yeah. That's the other thing. I'm glad you said that. Um, in a mastermind, you have to be willing to not be offended, have, you know, open, constructive criticism, open, uh, you know, ideas to things that you've never done before. And the uncomfortableness is real. Let me just tell you, I, I've been in masterminds before. I started a mastermind again this year when travel started, mainly because I wanted to get women together 
uh, to be able to travel, but that wasn't just the, you know, the one piece of it that that was just a piece and an element of the one I created, but it was really about, I know that I wanted to move to the next level and where I was in business. And I knew I couldn't do that on my own. So I needed to be surrounded by specific women that could help get me there. So yeah. it's both the person starting it, anyone that's included in it. It's all about the growth. And if you're looking for more growth in your life, if you're looking for more opportunities, a mastermind is one of the best things that you can join. So tell us more about yours, Katrina, and the opportunities that the listeners that are paying attention today and see this video in the future, what are their opportunities in masterminding with you? Yeah. And I'll tell you, there's so many different types of masterminds out there. Yeah. So you have to pick the one that fits you with the mentor, the leader that, that fits your style and that is teaching you the things you need to know right now. Like it's your next step, right? So be careful because there's, there's masterminds all over the place and it may or may not be your next step. And you also, the thing about that I loved in the masterminds that I've been in is not only did I get the group in, engagement, right? The group calls or the retreats and you get away, yes, and travel. And those are invaluable, let me tell you. But it's also, if you can get one-on-one. -on -one. Now, not all the masterminds I was in did I get one-on-one -on -one, uh, calls with that lead person, right? Um, some of them, uh, even the ones I spent the most money on, I got probably the least amount of one-on-one, -on -one, which is ridiculous, right? But so when I started mine, oh, and there's also the free masterminds. You'll see free masterminds are really low price masterminds. And there's nothing wrong with those. Although I find that people, when there's more skin in the game and you have a group that's committed to really supporting each other, they're more cohesive and they stick around. The yeah. freer ones, people tend to drop off and they, you know, you can't count on them as much. So I would say that definitely don't start a mastermind that's a low price. Make that your high price thing. If you're going to start a mastermind, make it one of your high ticket items in your funnel because a low price one, then they won't value all the other stuff that you're offering. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so I run a mastermind. It's a higher end, but it has everything that I love about masterminding in it. So it has uh, lots of group calls twice a month, in fact. And then we were meeting three times a year uh, in person before COVID with my three day events. And then we would have two days of masterminding after that. So they would fly out for three, three times a year for like five days of working on their business. It seems a lot like a lot, but I was also trying to help people by not traveling six times and going to an event and then a retreat and then event, retreat, yeah. event, retreat. So I was trying to help people by not, you know, really, um, by saving their budget a little bit, right? Then when COVID hit, we had to, I started doing virtual events and now we do virtual retreats. We do them like one day every other month and then we do a full mastermind. So you can do whatever you want in your mastermind. The other thing that I put into mine is unlimited access to me. Nobody does this. <laughs> Nobody does unlimited one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody, I haven't seen it anywhere. And that's because when people start a mastermind, they want to leverage their time and they want to do a high ticket with a group aspect. Then they want to leverage their time and that's how they want to run their business. Well, I know people need more than that. I know people need one-on-one -on -one access. And so I threw it in because I want to, I, that's the way I want to serve and that's the way I feel valued. And that's the way that my clients are getting actually amazing results is because they're constantly talking to me about every little decision in their business and they're not off willy-nilly trying to make their own decisions. So it's a different model. There's not a lot of masterminds out there that have this much one-on-one -on -one access, but I love it because I want to serve at the level that people need and not just take your money to, you know, put, put you into a program. That's not my goal. So there's a whole bunch of other stuff you get. It's like everything in the kitchen sink in mine. But, um, and then, yeah, I was starting a new mastermind with David Fagan and that's po been postponed till probably June. He has a June event um, and we may or may not do it. I'm not sure. We're still talking stuff out. Um, so, but either way, it's, uh, I can advise you if there's not me, then who, who else yeah. would you go to? But it's so important to just be connected like that and to give and receive. I agree. I agree. So 
when you're, you know, some questions to ask when you're looking at a mastermind is A, what's the cost, right? B, do you have to travel? And if you do have to travel, are you willing to travel? Because if they do, are going to be traveling and they are going to be meeting in person and you can't do the traveling to meet in person, you're me you're missing out on a huge opportunity to be in person with them. So that's something to be thinking about right now, especially that's an added cost, you know, for you to travel for that, because most masterminds aren't paying for your airline ticket. They might pay for your lodging, but they're not going to pay for your airline ticket. Right. So, or they may pay for some food and drink and trainers and that type of thing. Um, and the other thing is what, you know, what is included in it as a whole, you know, what are the, what is the value? What are the other people, who are the other people in the mastermind? Mm -hmm. And what do they do for a living, right? That's another big part. Are they on the same level as you? Is this more of a mastermind where everyone's on the same level and you're going to be gaining a lot from each other and their insights based on their experience and their wisdom and their length of time in their career? Or is there kind of one person running, you know, the mastermind and that's the person that has the wisdom, the experience, the time, and everyone else is on a different level, right? So what does that mastermind look like? These are just clean and clear, easy questions to ask to qualify to be sure that that's the best mastermind for you. Yeah. And I, I found that all different levels of people in the mastermind are really yeah. helpful because you can learn stuff from a newbie, just like you can learn stuff from a seasoned business owner. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that to me is not the point, but a, a deciding factor, but, um, but what is, could also be a deciding factor is like you said, who's in the group. I have gotten clients from every single mastermind I've ever participated in. So things that I've invested in, I find potential clients for me as well. And I've, so I've definitely not only made my own money back for my own business um, because of the things that I've learned, but I've also gotten clients from those situations and scenarios. So there's lots of opportunity wherever you go, as long as you're hanging out. It's just like yeah. you're in lead up, right? If you are a member and you don't show up to anything, you're not going to get anything out of it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and some masterminds and other events will um, zoom in. So I'm actually thinking of bringing back the live events as well, starting by the end of this year. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to offer a component to zoom in. However, I would encourage you, it, you know, it's, it's safer to travel than ever these days. You, I would encourage you to get out of side of your box and get outside mm -hmm. of your town and really work on your business. Cause it's nothing like getting out into a place yeah. outside of your, where you live, working on your business, the ideas are just exploding at that point. When you're yeah. at home and doing the same old thing, same old thing every day, they don't come quite as easily. So I would just really encourage people, if you're going to join a mastermind and there's travel, to do it. Yeah. Just do it. And I agree. Trust. Yeah. Trust. Yeah, I totally agree. And if anyone remembers the book, Think and Grow Rich, uh, by Napoleon Hill. I've read that book several times. I'm, I just finished reading Think and Grow Rich for Women by La uh, Sharon Lecter because, you know, she works with the Napoleon Hill Foundation. And that's a great book for anyone who wants to grab that book out there. It's, you know, dedicated mainly toward women, but it pulls all of the elements of the teachings of Napoleon Hill from the original book. And one of the biggest pieces in there was masterminding all the way back in 1930, whatever he wrote, wrote the book, you know, whenever it was that this book came out, that long ago, gentlemen were masterminding with each other. And so there's something to be said about being able to work with other people and um, share wisdom share ideas, uh, again, without the competitive aspect of it, but to help each other get ahead. And there's, there's something to be said about that. It is a lonely place to be a CEO in a company. And so I, a lot of CEOs that run large corporations also have groups um, that, you know, that have CEO, other CEOs in it because they're trying to bounce ideas off of for running those companies as well. So again, get yourself into a mastermind if you're not already. Uh, Katrina's is a great one to start as well. So Katrina, how can people reach out to you? And of course, we'll get your information in the comment section as well, but how can they reach you? 
Well, sure. I mean, if you've never heard of me before, you're not going to just go click and join my mastermind. I get it. So right. let's have a conversation. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm a realistic person. All right. So let's just have a conversation. You can just go to the website at jumpstartyourbiznow.com. There's a whole bunch of free stuff under the resources page. Get to know me. Listen to some other audios and trainings and things like that. Jumpstartyourbiznow.com. Um, my live big mastermind. If you know me and you've been following me for then maybe it is time that you look at it, but it's livebigmastermind.com as well. So that'll take you to that specific page, but yeah, happy to chat anytime. <laughs> I love that Katrina. Thank you for being with us today and everyone. Thank you for hanging out with us this morning. It was great. And, uh, we definitely recommend that you guys go check out, uh, getting into a mastermind and, um, Katrina just offered you a lot of free resources, so I definitely recommend that you take her up on those and go to her website, her website, jumpstartyourbiznow.com, and go check her out. All right. Thank you so much, Katrina. Please. For the rest of you, you guys have a wonderful week and take care. Bye-bye now.